Ladies and gentlemen, we move swiftly on with the next match, and it is a title match on the left arm in a men's 105 kilogram cross, the light heavyweights. We have got Kazakhstan versus Ukraine, and we're going to welcome our athletes now to the stage. The first of these men is representing Kazakhstan. He is a national champion and the reigning champion of the world. Please welcome Alejan Muratov. Muratov coming to you 26 years young from the great country of Kazakhstan. Coming in here with 18 inch forearms, rocking those 17 and a half inch biceps. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been around this guy for the last 48 hours. What an absolute animal. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent is a favorite here at the East versus West and rock strong, representing the nation of Ukraine. Please welcome Ole Patrenko. Oleg Petrenko, ladies and gentlemen, representing the Ukraine in action last. East and West Five against the perfect storm. John Berzink didn't exactly work out in his favor. Back here for East West Six and an extraordinary competitor coming in 5'10, 229 pounds, rocking those 18 inch biceps, little smaller forearms. Oleg Petrenko, a hook master. Look for the energy from the Ukraine and the Kazakhstan. We'll go to the coin toss. Petrenko picks heads. It is. It is heads. Petrenko will pick. He'll switch sides and make sure that that buckle will be on the Kazakhstan's side of the table. Here we go. Round one, left-handed action. Istanbul, Turkey, live. Ingen Terzi, the host of East West Six, here with Core Sports. I am your host, Travis Bajan, the greatest arm wrestler that has ever lived, ladies and gentlemen, in case you wondered why. I exactly, I had so much swag. That is in case the fact. Now back to the action here, round one. Left-handed match, Oleg Petrenko on your left. The Kazakhstan Mirzov on your right. Here we go, trying to negotiate the center there. Referee begging Morozov, come back towards you. Petrenko to let off a little bit of that middle pressure. It looks like we're in good shape. There's a hit. Petrenko, super control there. Controlled the middle, would not let the Kazakhstan in there with any purchase of a hook. Ladies and gentlemen, Petrenkov is here. After that loss to John Berzink, you can see him. What an amazing shape that he's come in. Oleg Petrenko, dominant there. Put the brakes on, hard. Strap gonna be applied and Alejan Muratov made a name at the WAF for powering at pace through the super heavyweight division. Right then, he had a wall and that is ominous. You can see over the left shoulder there, Petrenko, the great Rustam Babayev in action here a little later. Just was told to get the hell out of the screen. Get out of that stage, God damn it. <laughs> and he has moved over now on the other side. Now a clear vision there with Petrenko trying to give some coaching there. What an absolute great mentor to have in Rustan Babayev in your corner. Muratov, it should get more difficult for him at this stage. You went to the strap and Petrenko there was able to put up a brick wall. This is a man diligently trained under the, gr the late great Andrei Pushkar. This is the baby That's train. Cool. Oleg Petrenko. Now you can see Muratov shaping his body. Angle defense from Petrenko. The conditioning of this guy is unbelievable. Wow, enormous! That looked like a pin. Surely a pin there. Wow, how was that not cool? That looked deep, it looked tight, but now the brakes are on and it's Petrenko. He stops the block. Mistimed that one badly then, Alajan. 
But we'll look at Petrenko driving backwards. Muratov sells the elbow. I'll tell you what, Travis. I don't know whether it's just our angle. I think the match is over. It's three to nothing, Morisov, right there. I saw three straight pins. The angle pretty much, maybe from our angle, that he needed a little more. But listen, it looked like he buried him at least <laughs> two of those three times. I do not know what to say. I do not know what to say. We, I need to see the replay before I make any more claims. But I'll tell you what, the camera angle we were on, holy, I've seen people dead, less buried than that. Let's have a look. Well, there's Jan Muratov. Okay, we're not going to see the replay there. And we said that the threat from Petrenko was when he got the brakes on. And we saw some of that. But this is a little bit of a seesaw as I'm joined by Roly Ray Leipins. Ray, we've got all the excitement happening here, mate. Alajan Muratov. Big drive in the straps, drove for the pad. We'll see the replay maybe later, but for from our angle, it looked like it was a pin. It looked like there were two from players. Alajan, right? It looked like a pin. I was no. in the elevator. I didn't see it. I believe Alejan Murato is one of the greatest pullers of this generation right now. Left arm, he is just sick. He's what facing a huge threat, but let's see if he can deal with it. The interesting thing, Ray, was that the match stopped Earlier in the round, we saw a stonewall block from Petrenko. But when Alijan hit down to the pad, we've talked about it in some of the podcasts that we've done. How much damage is done when you tear into the elastic limit of your opponent, even if they are stronger? Damn and what right. I can tell you is, he evened the score out on that first match. There's no doubt about it, because as Petrenko went for the pin, he was shaking and in all kinds of trouble trying to finish and ended up rushing a little bit. We could be in for a very, very entertaining match up here. This is, well, for me, it's very interesting because both of these guys kind of has developed one of their styles. They don't have a lot of options. No score at this stage. We're just letting Ray know as he's just joined us. We're no score at this stage. We're still in round one. Round one. Zero, zero. Let's outside the, the straps. Round one. Alja Murato, don't freaking blink. Outside of the straps, it was a dominant start oh. for Petrenko. Oh, Muratov oh, diving. Hits. Oh. Hits. Almost finished, but not quite. But he's in a great position. If Petrenko can pull that up, he's digging it out from the depths. And he is doing so. Oh, my word. What a display of heart. Deep, deep towards the pad. And now he starts to sweep. But look at the power of Alajan Muratov. He resets was equal his to legs, it. Resets his four, legs, gets four, the full drive on, a side pressure right there. Has the full control of Petrenko's pronator, but still, Petrenko can get it back. Can get it back. Screaming career wow. ending. The pin, pin, surely oh, there. So close. Wow, he's hovering over the pad. Alijan adjusts. The wrist has been bent, and Alijan pins it. I believe Alijan has the oh, first four. pin. I think we, I think Tim may have just called a foul, mate. Just wait One a minute. One foul for Petrenko. Was that on Petrenko or on yeah. Alijan? I would say, even if it was a foul, it was a foul in losing position. Like, like Alijan's style is so unorthodox. He goes from pulling on the inside to pulling on the top roll at the same time. He will hook you and top roll you at the same goddamn time. Who is the foul on there, guys? Foul on Petrenko. Petrenko. Foul on Petrenko. <laughs> Again, a little confusing there because it looked like Tim had called the foul on Alijan. Petrenko, see the bottom side? It's 20 strong and 5 tricky. Alijan is 10 and 10. I guarantee you that. I would I would have called at this point a pin. Yeah, it, it, it was a foul. It, I was just going to say, when I was watching that on the replay, it looked like Alijan got a foul at exactly the same time. Tim was looking at the elbow of Alijan, called it, and at the same time, Alexander got Petrenko, who clearly picked his elbow off. It's coincidental fouls, as I understand it, and it's going to be a restart. But we said a moment ago, this could end up in a dramatic match. My God. And this is round one. Yeah. This is round one, both of them huffing and puffing. This is this is a lot to take in. This is Alija Murato. This year did something that has never done by any arm wrestler ever. He went out of 
way beyond his weight class and destroyed everyone at super heavyweight. Whoever you talk, it doesn't matter who was in the class, no one else has done it before. Alejo Morado did it. He is extremely great on us at left hand. Oleg Petrenko, his opponent, 95 kilo world champ at Zlati Tour, just a dominant puller. You can see him, the student of Andre Pushkar, pretty much developed the same style with a lot of back pressure behind it. Let's see who has the better endurance, who has the better strategy. I talked with Alijan, I was like, can you pull when you get out of position? He's like, I'll get in my position every round. It doesn't freaking matter. What we can say from the early elements of this match is that the running has been made to this point by Alajan Muratov. He has bossed the starts. He's made Oleg Petrenko work very, very hard. And the gas tank of Petrenko will be called into question. You do feel like it's the explosivity of Alajan Muratov that is doing the damage here. And I wondered whether this, this is would... still round one. It's round one. We're so in the strap. Watch for that explosivity. For Let's go. Watch for the explosivity from Alajan Muratov. And can Petrenko get the brakes on? Massive drive. Muratov with the pin. Position. It's a with drive straight to the wow. pad. Wow. Alajan Muratov takes it one to nothing. <laughs> Little cursing from uh, Petrenko. He said some curse words that the uh, Counter-Strike Go players would understand if they're watching this at this point. Petrenko is one behind Alejo Morato. Doesn't matter how tired he gets, he's always that explosive. He has developed that style to what he said, perfection. He doesn't need anything else. In that style, it's very hard to top rock him. It's very hard to hook him. It's very hard to press him. Alejo Morato might be the one of the best pullers no, no, no. at the left arm category. Look at him shut the weight. space down there, Ray. Shuts the space down with the shoulder, turns, supinated block, triangulates the body well. Look again on the replay yeah. now, you'll see that little turn. Shuts out the space as Petrenko goes to the back of the pad. The elbow is based and he's nowhere to go. Second surge, pin. Alejan Muratov leads this arm wrestling match and looks the fresher athlete. He looks extremely good in this one. Let's see what the round two will bring to us, but right now I believe Alejan takes it. If Petrenko couldn't stop him, I don't believe he has the endurance or the technical prowess to beat Alejan in this match. The fact that we're seeing Oleg Petrenko run for the top roll to get the brakes on shows you the level of fatigue that he's clearly feeling in this match. And uh, ominous signs for the man from Ukraine. Ominous signs. Alejan Muratov, we were wondering how strong this guy was if the match stopped. We've seen how strong he is when the match stopped. He's strong enough. And what he brings to the table is an otherworldly start. The explosivity, the commitment of the start. We've seen this from the Kazakhs before. Now this is pivotal. Can I'll, I'll make a prediction. I believe this will be no straps straight away to the I was literally pack. just gonna say, we're not in the straps now, and the commitment level of Muratov, can he finish this and get it straight to the pad? We'll see the level of fatigue here on Oleg's arm. Big drive coming, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be aggressive, it will be violent. Let's freaking go. Stand by, Alejan Muratov, red shirt from Kazakhstan. This is the title match of light heavyweight, left arm. Alejan Muratov gets in his position. So close to pinning, Petrenko stays away. It's a good drive. Was it good enough? And it is. Two nothing. Wow. What do you do if you are Oleg Petrenko at this moment? What do you do? You go for a strap or no strap? It's very, very difficult. The, the biggest advice that I would give to him is to get his elbow to the other side of the pad on the start. Because if he allows Alajan Muratov any kind of linear attack, He's clearly not even close to fast enough. I would love to see one more time that replay. <laughs> we can see it driving to the pad there. I must admit it looked very low the first time, but Muratov simply collects his arm, comes back up, and he's working within his elasticity. Petrenko is not. He's at the absolute edge of it. And he's 
complete defensive mode. That speed of Arjan Muratov is such a weapon. Last time we see Oleg Petrenko here, he was pulling Zurab Dalberi. He totally dominated that match. But this is a different opponent. Aljan Muratov from Kazakhstan is the reigning super heavyweight champion of the world, weighing in in less than 100 kilos. I, I'll tell you again, super heavyweight WAF world champion, weighing less than 100 kilos. This man is so impressive. It's disgusting at this point. It's, it it kind of offends every armor on the planet. Aljan Muratov right now might be the top guy for the super heavyweight crown. Here we go. <laughs> Aljan Muratov, two pins to nothing at this stage of the match. Looks calm, supremely confident. By contrast, Oleg Petrenko looks edgy, a little pensive. This is it. If, if Oleg can take control of this match, or at least get the strap, I believe the strap would favor Oleg because he can add more back pressure. He can get out of that wrist. You know what? I don't know whether it would at this stage, Ray. I, I really think there's some serious bullet holes in the arm of Oleg. Oh, He's on the Alijan, defensive. Alijan sit, Alijan hits so hard, it, it, it gives you damage. It doesn't it, it, matter who you are. It gives you damage, and it's clearly scaring Oleg. You can see he's trying to position his body to cushion that, but in doing so, he's halfway to his own pad. The shoulder's dipped, he's extended. He's looking to try and pry open the hand and wrist, but Alejan Muratov is committing so hard. We're I think we're uh, going to the ref's grip. Yeah. Kazakhstanian pullers in this East versus West event already are one to one. If Alajan takes it, he's two to one, and then it's Kidrigali Ongarbaya versus Michael Todd. That's gonna follow later this evening. Right now, it is for the the 105 kilo light heavyweight world title at left hand. Look at the depth of the palm of Alajan Muratov. The fast twitch. He will. The way we go on a big drive, and again, Petrenko is blocked. Nowhere to go at the back of the he path. He gets the pronator, chokes him go. out. So close, so close to pinning, so close to pinning. Oh, the just fighting as well as much as he can. Resets his legs, gets in a deep hook. We saw Alijan has a lot of control in that hook. He holds the control of Petrenko's pronator also on his bicep. That's what he wants, so close. And when he surges to the side, he goes for a top roll, which is very unusual, so close. Petrenko trying to, trying to hold on, trying to not give up. Petrenko showing the heart and determination and there. Do we have a... What, are, what is the call? Strap. Strap is the call. Wow. This is a great match. This is how the world champion title should be fought for. <laughs> the first time that we've seen Alijan Muratov really breathing heavy. Little gas there. Lies back. Could be a little bit better signs. For Oleg Petrenko, he's obviously still got a little bit of power in there if he can put the brakes on. And what you'd have to say to Petrenko is that he's not found wanting in terms of heart. This man is there for the duration and he dug in hard a couple of times already in this match. We've seen him dig the match out from the lowest, lowest possible place it could be, right hovering above that pad. But he did so there diligently. He did so in a controlled fashion and he managed to get the match to where he wanted it. Much more positive signs there. Much better from Oleg Petrenko. Straps don't lie, we're about to go into them. Straps don't lie, straps really don't lie. At this point, I believe Oleg Petrenko is very close to turning the tide and making this match his. Alja Murato looks a little bit exhausted, he has that acid weapon of fast hit, but if he cannot utilize it, it all comes down to strength, endurance, and technical prowess. Let's see who has more of it. Both men breathing heavy. The lactic acid buildup in the arms will become a factor. You'd think that Petrenko has more of that. We've seen him need to dig super deep to recover his position in this match. 
and every time you take a hit of that magnitude, it does damage. You can see the sweat dripping off the face of Alajan Muratov of Kazakhstan. He positions that thick, deep palm into the match, drives forward and deep. He will look to finish early. Do not blink, ladies and gents. Petrenko not happy with the position of the strap and asking for a reapplication, gets it. Muratov, heavily sweating, starting to recover himself a little bit. This is a dragster. He wants to finish quick. Put you to the sword. A little bit more confidence now in the face of Oleg Petrenko. He knows if he can stop the match, he might be back in things. So key to get that strap position where you want it. Maximise the leverage. Both men now very, very aware of the potential threat that's posed by their opponent. Alijan Muratov is the man in the red shirt. He hails from Kazakhstan. Super heavyweight, WAF champion of the world. Weighing only around 94 kilograms, he achieved that accolade in blister, in dramatic fashion. Oleg Petrenko was ranked number one puller under 95 kilos in 2019 before the world had hit with COVID. And he is right there in this match. Let's see, Alijan just needs one pin to finish this Strap. off. Oleg Petrenko says, no, it's not gonna happen, Strap buddy. looks twisted as well there, Ray, on the, on the far side, on Petrenko. Do not blink, ladies and gents. We are revving up. On the way we go! Wow, straight to the pad! Boom. Alijan Muratov with the pin. Explosive oh, win, Muratov. Wow. Alijan Muratov takes this match, becomes the light heavyweight champion of the world. No. Yep. Yeah. Let's watch it again. Dramatic finish to the match there. We'd seen it go the distance in the last one. Okay, we're getting a little look at the duration of this match and what a dramatic match it was. Muratov there mistimed that hit. Prior to it, there'd been two or three great attacks. Petrenko had to go to the bank early. But look at the positions that Petrenko got into and managed to recover them. This is the foul. We saw a coincidental foul there. Petrenko driving off the back. I think Tim had already popped one on Alijan Muratov. But the evidence, the story here, Ray, was that the red line had been exposed so many times for Petrenko, the damage was done. The damage was definitely done. Alijan Muratov still so explosive, so experienced, shows what is up super heavyweight world champion light heavyweight champion here at east versus west alja murato is for real i'm really excited to see what this guy can do his left arm is pretty much one of the best left arms on the planet there's so many challenges for him to face in that super heavyweight class as well as outside of it and today he is victorious versus Oleg Petrenko, who totally dominated his last arm wrestling match. We see Travis Bajan being right there on the stage. I, I believe like Travis is pretty famous for his left arm. I don't know why, but we'll figure it out. Travis is so happy there. Aljo Morato. Aljo Morato is so humble always. Like I talked with him before the matches and worlds and after. And he's like, yeah, and you know, I get lucky. And it's like, but he is a beast. And I'm so excited to see him pull. As we see in a replay, he just dominated this match. We going to the award ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to present our award to the new champion of the world, Alisson Murata! Alejan, congratulations on your win. Congratulations on getting your champion's title. Tell me how you feel. Assalamu alaikum. Hazarilla, Jingles Tosun. Всем спасибо. Как вы видите, Петренко дал мне попыжиться. В первую очередь хотел бы поблагодарить 
всех, кто сейчас не спит в данное время в Казахстане около 3-4 часов ночи, всем спасибо большое. И моим родным, близким, жене, маме, которую молятся за меня, просили у Бога. И, и всем вам большое спасибо, что следите за мной и ждете от меня ярких побед. Allah Jan is saying that he is thanking everybody who is right now watching from Kazakhstan, not sleeping at 3 4 a.m. in the morning. He's thanking his wife, his mom, everybody who is currently working for him. He's thanking all of you for watching and supporting him on his journey. And Allah Jan, who would you like to pull next? Следующий раз по ходу буду бороться самим собой. Некоторые мере. Но не знаю, будем ждать. Предложение от дяди Ингина, так что чуть-чуть надо время передохнуть и с новыми силами приступить к тренировкам и в дальнейшем, думаю, узнаем. Uh, well, I think in the future I'll have to pull with myself since I'm the champion, but now I'm going to leave it all the decision for the uncle Ингин to tell me who I pull next. So, but once again, thanks everybody. Aljan, congratulations. Good luck in the future matches.